How's it going, uh, Algebra 2 folks? Just received a couple of more questions from you guys, in particular about equations that look like this. But I figure I'll just give you a quick update on what's going on in our house. And there's that monster. Barrett is his name, thanks to a lot of you for voting. And here's Luna enjoying Barrett's toy. So, oh, Barrett. simmer down over there. Okay, so first thing that you want to do and you have a problem that looks like this, <laughs> is uh, go ahead and try to set it equal to zero. The way you're gonna do that is you're gonna subtract three X from both sides and subtract one from both sides. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. As I subtract three X, subtract three X, three X's are gonna cancel out. If I subtract one and subtract oh, one, I end up with x squared minus 25 equals zero. So from there, what we would do is um, try to solve for x squared. So we're going to add 25 to both sides of the equation. And we get x squared equals 25. We are going to square root both sides. Good girl, Luna. Remember that when we introduce the square root, we need to account for both the positive and negative possible solutions. So we end up with x equals negative five and positive five. So I usually wrote that in class as x equals plus or minus five. Delta math, you're going to have to write negative five comma five to submit that answer. Sorry for the puppy noise in the background. Please let me know if you have any questions on how to do that. Miss you.